and be happy always. Once again, welcome to the class of economics in Shachi's Academy, where we discuss various concepts with very simple tips and easy keywords. The topic of today's discussion is national income aggregates and the formulas of national income. Right now, we will discuss aggregates and formulas of national income. This will help you to solve numericals and MCQs very easily. In video number 10, we have discussed all the basic concepts related to national income and now the aggregates, right? So, here we have all the aggregates that come in your different formulas. GDP, MP, what is that? Gross Domestic Product, MP, that means market price. Next, we have NDP, MP, Net Domestic Product at Market Price. Next, GNP, MP, Gross National Product at Market Price. And NNP, MP, that means Net National Product at Market Price. Can you see some pattern over there? Yeah. Gross and Net, Gross and Net. This comes to the first place in all the aggregates. Now, here also gross net, gross net. So, this is the first thing you need to understand what is gross and net. Then, in the second place, we have DD, that is domestic, NN, that is national. Again, DD and NN, that means domestic and national. This two is very important concept. And then, product at market price in all the four. And here, we, we have product at factor cost. But what is factor cost and what, it, what is market price? We will discuss them now one by one. So, first of all, gross and net concepts. What is gross? Gross means total or whole of something from which nothing has been reduced or deducted. Nothing has been cut down. It hasn't been shortened. So, nothing has been deducted from that. That means whole of something. right? And net, net means part of a gross. Gross is a larger concept than your net concept. This will be always greater, right? So nothing has been directed here and here something has been directed. Whenever you see the word net, that means something has been directed from something and to get this net. Net means something shortened by, something has been reduced. So we'll see what is gross with an example right now. So we have one, take for example, we have one tailor in a colony. He is having a machine, sewing machine. For that tailor, what is that machine? That is his fixed asset or fixed capital. Right now, we have one tailor that is having one machine. That is his fixed capital. Okay? Then, capital. Okay. With this fixed capital or with his machine, he stitches clothes and earns 10,000 rupees per month. 10,000. Okay? But, there is a fault in that machine and he has to spend rupees 1000 on repair of that machine. For repairing that machine, he has to spend how much amount? 1000. So, rupees 1000 will be deducted from his total earnings. These are his total earnings. That means gross earnings, total earnings, whole earning. Right now. So, what is left with the him? 9000. The thing which is left after deducting or subtracting the cost of repair is his what? Net income. This is his net income. But what is this cost? This is cost of repairing. Why do we repair things? Because they depreciate or become lower in value. Right? Okay? The new machine can stitch well. But when it becomes old, it has to be repaired from time to time. The cost of repairing is known as your depreciation. Because machines wear and tear with longer usage or with time. Right? They may break, they may shut down and anything may happen with them. Some fault may occur to them. So this cost is known as depreciation. We have directed minus 1000 to arrive at 9000. So this is your depreciation. Depreciation, right? So, and now to arrive, again arrive at gross, what we need to add? 1000 and that is what? That is depreciation. Plus 1 will give you again gross income of that person, that tailor, and that is plus depreciation. Now, what you understand from this? That gross minus depreciation is your net, right? This is what? Gross minus depreciation. We may rub all of them, right? We may rub. And here we have your formula, right? Here we have your formula that is gross minus depreciation. Gross minus depreciation is your net. Minus depreciation. I am writing DEP for depreciation. So, gross minus depreciation is your net and net plus depreciation is your what? Gross. So, this is our first formula. Here, we are subtracting 
to arrive at this and here we are adding to arrive at 10,000. 10,000 was his whole income and here we have to submit. This is our first formula. That means gross minus your depreciation is your net income, right? In the whole economy also when you do some production, machines uh, go for wear and tear. They may become old, they may become unusable. So they have to be replaced. So this is known as depreciation in the whole economy. And the gross income of whole nation, gross income, gross income or production of whole nation minus depreciation will equal to your net income in whole economy also right understood now we will discuss domestic income and national income what is the basic difference domestic that means income earned in domestic territory we have already discussed domestic territory what is that that is political and economic fantasies of your nation that means some total of factor incomes that are generated within domestic territory of the nation are known as domestic income. It is known as domestic income. Suppose in whole domestic territory, we generate an income of 100 crore rupees. What is domestic income right now? 100 crore rupees. But some of the Indians like I, if I have a house in London and I am receiving rent from there, that what is that income? That is factor income from abroad factor income from abroad right but in the same case some of the people in london or anywhere are having property in india also so we are paying rent to them india is paying rent to them that means we are receiving income from abroad and we are paying income to abroad and that is known as net factor income from abroad in the same manner people who are employed in abroad nations that is rest of the world their income is also included to our net factor income from abroad. So what is net factor income? Right? Net factor income from abroad. Net factor income from abroad. NFIA is equal to. That is factor incomes. Factor incomes. From. That is received. Factor incomes received. That is uh, you uh, earned. Factor incomes earned. From rest of the world, what we get from outside world, rest of the world minus, this is very important, minus factor incomes, incomes paid, paid, that means we are paying, paid to, this is very important, from and to, to rest of the world, right? So whatever we are receiving, and what are we paying? That is difference between them. Suppose factor incomes earned from abroad. That is 50 crore. Right? That is, this is our earning. Earned from abroad. And what we have to pay? Suppose we are paying 20 crore rupees to outside people. That means what is our net factor income from abroad? Earned minus paid. That is very simple. Is equal to how much? 30 crore rupees, right? 30 crore. That means this is our net factor income from abroad, okay? When this net factor income from abroad is added to your domestic income, plus, that means plus net factor income from abroad, it becomes your national income. Simple. That's very simple. And when you have to come back to your domestic income, you have to subtract or minus your net factor income from abroad right so here we have plus so 100 crore plus 30 crore is what your national income 130 crore is your national income but when you have to come back to your domestic income right so what do you have to do you have to subtract that means minus Again, it will become 100 crore only. So, domestic income is your 100 crore. And net factor income from abroad is, uh, that is, national income is your 100, uh, 130 crore. Rupees 130 crore. Simple. That means 100 crores plus 30 crore. 30 crore was our net factor income from abroad. So, it's clear when you add net factor income from abroad to domestic income, that becomes your national income. And when you subtract net factor income from abroad, it becomes your domestic income. Clear? That is our second formula of domestic income and national income. That is very important. 
Now we will discuss what is factor cost and what is market price concept. Right, I have a bakery in my neighborhood. When they make their bread, it costs them 20 rupees per packet. So the cost of production of one packet of bread is one packet is your 20 rupees. And I write it here. One pack of bread. The rupees 20, right? It cost them rupees 20, the cost price, right? Then when I went to market to purchase the same brand of bread, I have to pay rupees 25. But why? Why this 5 rupees are added to this 20 rupees? This amount is your net indirect taxes, right? N I T. Net indirect taxes. We have already studied taxes and subsidies in our video number 10. Please watch for that video for reference. Here this is NIT. That means the taxes that we have to pay in our goods. There are hidden taxes. We do not feel they are hidden taxes which are levied on our goods. These are indirect taxes. That is taxes on goods. So I have to pay these five as tax. Right? Just like GST. Goods and services tax. Right? So... When you add, right, this is simple, when you add net indirect taxes, right, to factor cost, it becomes what? It becomes market price. In the same manner, when you subtract net indirect taxes from your market price, it becomes what? It becomes factor cost. So this is very simple. We have seen all the concepts. So what is this factor cost plus net indirect taxes that is NIT is your market price and market price of anything minus net indirect taxes is your factor cost. So we have come to our third formula. This was second. This is third formula. What is formula for NIT? That is net indirect taxes. This is your indirect taxes. Indirect taxes minus subsidies, right? Subsidies that we receive from government as help, right? So that things can become cheaper. Taxes increase the price and subsidies reduce the price. So this is the formula. NIT means indirect taxes minus subsidies, right? Now we have developed a code to memorize all these formulas. We have three major formulas for national income. We have developed a code. This is NG, that is net gross, net and gross concept, D and domestic and national concept, and FM, that is factor price, factor cost and market price concept. So we have net, then FM. It sounds like any FM station. So it's easy to remember, net, then FM. Now you will see how it can help you out in your numericals. Net, then. That means when you have to arrive at gross, you have to add depreciation, DEP, depreciation. And when you have to arrive at net, you have to subtract depreciation minus depreciation. Clear? In the same manner, when you have to write your, uh, arrive at your national income, you have to add, that is uh, addition has to be done of net factor income from abroad. And when you have to come back to your domestic, you have to minus or subtract your net factor income from abroad. In the same manner, factor cost and market price, you have to add net indirect taxes. Right? And when you have to come back to your factor cost, you have to subtract your net indirect taxes this is so simple so net den net den fm ng dn fm so this is your formula and here you are adding everything to arrive at the next you are adding this is plus sign for all of them first is depreciation that is net and gross concepts differ by depreciation they has depreciation as main concept then D and that is domestic and national differ by your net factor income from abroad. And your factor cost and market price differ by net indirect taxes. And what is net factor income from abroad? That is factor income earned from rest of the world minus factor income paid to the rest of the world. Right? That is domestic territory, whatever is earned in domestic territory plus your net factor income from abroad is your national income. So net factor income from abroad understood then we have what is the formula for NIT that is net indirect taxes that means indirect taxes minus subsidies net indirect taxes is equal to indirect taxes minus subsidies and once again net factor income from abroad is equal to factor incomes received or earned from rest of the world minus factor income paid to the rest of the 
वर्ल्ड राइट सो वी हैव अंडरस्टूड एंड दिस इज द फॉर्मूला एन जी डी एंड एफ एम सो नाउ वॉट वी कैन डू वी कैन जस्ट कन्वर्ट सम ऑफ द एग्रीगेट्स और नॉट नाउ रेडी सो वी विल कन्वर्ट अवर जी डी पी इन टू वॉट से एन एन जी डी पी एट मार्केट प्राइस वी विल कन्वर्ट जी डी पी एट मार्केट प्राइस टू एन एन पी एट फैक्टर कॉस्ट राइट सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एन एन पी एट फैक्टर कॉस्ट सो एन एन पी एट फैक्टर कॉस्ट इज इक्वल टू जी डी पी एट मार्केट प्राइस वॉट फर्स्ट वी विल सी अवर जी एन जी कॉन्सेप्ट जी एन एन सो दिस इज नेट एंड दिस इज ग्रॉस वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट नेट सो वॉट वी विल डू हियर वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट नेट सो वी विल माइनस डेप्रीसिएशन डेप्रीसिएशन हैज बिन डिटेक्टेड माइनस डेप्रीसिएशन एंड सेकेंड कॉन्सेप्ट इज एन एंड हियर वी हैव डी टू फाइंड आउट एन फ्रॉम डी वॉट डू वी डू राइट वी प्लस we have to add we have to move move from d to n so we have to plus plus net factor income from abroad now what is the third concept pfc and your p uh, and market price that is we have to find out your production at factor cost from mp what we have to do at factor cost right we have to arrive back at factor cost so minus nit minus n i t Now in this manner, you can convert all the different aggregates into one another. So I hope you have understood the topic clearly. And if you have any problem, please do send the comments and the queries. And please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for future updates. Thank you so much.